Hey guys, just a little update. Um, I'm experiencing, experimenting with other engines. Um, I'm not going to stop the Firefly tutorials. I'm still going to be using Firefly, still going to be making tutorials for it as more than likely my main engine. But I also don't want to constrict myself to just one engine. I kind of want to broaden my horizon, learn more things, getting to or take that step between the event sheet that Click Team has and learning script and hopefully moving on to actual code so I can have some kind of understanding of code and probably make Firefly, or not Firefly, but probably make um, Click Team extensions since that uses Visual Studio and C. Uh, I think it uses C. Anyway, um, so first engine I'm looking at is uh, Godot, Godot. I don't know how it's pronounced to be honest, but that's because it has, no I don't want to add new stuff. There it is. It, whoops. It has visual scripting, which is kind of like Blender Cycles if you've ever used that, or the blueprint mode for uh, Unreal Engine. Create that, and just throw a function in there, or something. There we go. New function. Throw some variables in there. Have the input, or whatever. Basically, it's just blocks that you can connect with each other. If I can find a block that actually connects. Ah. There we go. It's just these different blocks that you can connect with each other. Um, kind of fairly simple. Just kind of drag and drop. Just going to connect that to itself real quick. Um, just drag and drop. You still don't need code for it. Or you don't need to know actual script for it. But you still need to know something. Uh, you need to know how these connect. Just less syntax errors, things of that nature. Um, so yeah, I might be posting tutorials using this software alongside with Firefly. I'm not going to stop the Firefly tutorials. Um, those are still going to come. I'm still going to be using Firefly as my main engine, as I said. And I'm actually posting a video this Friday about how to shoot in Firefly. So if you want to make a first person shooter and you need to shoot from a gun. Um, it's a little bit different of a tutorial. I'll be going through the code in my example file rather than actually making it. And that way you guys can see what the example file looks like as well if you're hesitant on buying it. Um, there's a lot of drag and drop code in there. For example the first person controller in there. You can just drag and drop that frame, have first person movement set up. Um, there's two not really games but games in there give it a look i'll leave the link for that in the description as well as the link for this software see you guys